Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With conditional formatting, you set criteria for cells that change the appearance of the cell depending on whether or not the cell's value meets the criteria specified. For example, if you wanted to have a worksheet cell appear with a red fill color only if it contained a negative number, you could do that with conditional formatting. Conditional formatting can be applied to all cells, but can be especially helpful in formula cells as a way to visually indicate the cell's value, which may change when data entry occurs. You can make use of several of the preset conditional formats that are provided in Excel, or you can create your own rules and formatting to apply. To apply conditional formatting, first select the cells in the worksheet to which you want to apply conditional formatting. Then click the Conditional Formatting button in the Styles button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. If you want to apply one of the default formats using the values from your cell selections as the upper and lower bounds, then simply roll down to the conditional formatting style that you wish to use in the second section of the drop-down menu that appears. From the side menu that appears, you can then choose which of the specific variations of the style that you wish to apply. Just click the style that you want to apply to the selection. You can also create your own custom rules and then decide what type of formatting to apply when a selected cell meets the criteria that you have specified. To do this, you can select one of the rule choices shown in the first section of the drop-down menu, either Highlight Cell Rules or Top Bottom Rules. From the side menu, you can select the type of values that you want to highlight. This will open a dialog box where you enter the criteria which, when met, will apply the formatting that you choose. Note that you can create multiple rules for selected cells. However, if you wish to do this, then you may want to begin by selecting the cells to which you want to apply multiple rules first. Then you can click the Conditional Formatting button in the Styles button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can then choose the Manage Rules command to open the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. Assuming that you want to only view rules for the selected cells, then choose the Current Selection choice from the Show Formatting Rules for drop-down at the top of this dialog box. Otherwise, you can choose a whole worksheet or even the entire workbook from this drop-down. Any rules for the selection made from this drop-down are then listed in the Rules area below that. If there are no rules created yet, then this area will not show anything. To create a new rule for the selected area, click the New Rule button at the top of the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, select what type of rule to create by choosing a rule type from the types shown in the Select a Rule Type list. Then enter the Evaluation Criteria into the area at the bottom of the window. Once you have finished setting the formatting that you want to use, click the OK button to return to the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. If you want to add other rules to the selection, just repeat the process. New rules will be added to the list shown. Note that if you have multiple rules applied, they will be enforced in the order shown from top to bottom within this dialog box. Note that for any rule, you can check the Stop If True checkbox at the right end of the rule to end the sequence of rule processing if the cell value meets the criteria specified by the selected rule. You can also edit a rule that has been applied by selecting the rule to modify from the list and then clicking the Edit Rule button at the top of the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. This will reopen the rule in the Edit Formatting Rule window where you can change either the criteria or the formatting. If you want to delete a rule from the list shown in the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box, start by clicking on the rule that you want to remove. Then click the Delete Rule button at the top of the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. Note that you can also alter the order in which the rules are enforced in this dialog box. To change the order of the rules, click on the rule whose order you wish to change, and then click either the Move Up or Move Down buttons to change the order in which the rule will be enforced. Remember that the rules are enforced from top to bottom in this list. Once you have finished creating your rules, you can click the OK button to apply the conditional formatting rules to your selection and close the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.